Right, ladies and gents, you now join us on the Coon stand at Agritechnica 2023. Like all the major manufacturers here, it is, it's just, it's huge, it's immense, it is packed with lots of kit and technology. So we're going to give you a little bit of a flavour. We're going to focus on two or three of those new products from Coon. I'm now joined by Mr. Matthew Mayer, uh, training manager. So he's going to teach me a little bit, hopefully, about some of the latest products. And we're going to kick off with this, uh, Carl. Yeah. Which is an interesting name for a start. Yeah, we are from Alsace, so, so it's a naming and it gives something uh, different. That's it. It's it's a less of a technical name, more of a gives it a bit of a personality almost. That was also the idea to yeah. make it not so uh, technology, uh, because uh, we are not selling technology. We are here selling something different for the farmer. Yeah. For you. Uh, yeah, it's really new totally disrupting with what is existing on the market today. Yeah. It's not uh, it's not a tractor without cabin, mm. uh, what a lot of people are doing. Here, we have a machine, because we are manufacturer of machine, but this machine should be able to work alone. On this today, it's quite often a problematic. How are you sure that the machine can work without any control? Yeah. So we made the machine, like here it's an example with the power harrow, fully autonomous. To make it autonomous, we have an electric drive, so we can control the power right. needed. By knowing the power needed by the power harrow, we can control it. Yeah. We have a sensor on the on the roller at the rear, also to make sure that the roller is turning. Still going. Uh, if it's not turning, we might have a problem. Yeah. So then the robot will uh, see okay what's going on, and because the machine is working alone, is an intelligent machine. We need it somehow a power supplier yeah but the power supplier is then the, the tractor oh, the autonomous vehicle in the front how does it work it's an hydraulic uh, diesel engine diesel engine with a generator the generate the diesel is making the power the generator is so it's making like, it's like a train it's a diesel electric train effective almost <laughs> yeah similar yeah. sort of concept yeah yeah but the, the big advantage of electric we can really adapt yeah. We can adapt the power, and after we have electricity, we can also use the electricity to drive it. So here we have an electric drive of the of the rubber. Okay. And then we can really adapt. The electric vehicle today, you, when, we when you test it, it's really it's so smooth, yeah. nice, you get the power very quickly. That's it. You can adapt the slip also. You can one side drive on, on one side or on the other. You have no loss in the hydraulic, so electric is really uh, great. And also we need power at the rear. But because it's an electric generator, we can adjust also the power needed and so we can adjust the rotation speed of the engine. Yeah. So we can adapt to really the, the power consumption. Okay, so you can be really accurate with your power distribution, you might say. Yeah. Cool. And what, what, what we're sort of seeing at this event is, especially in, in the world of autonomy, is particularly with the tractor manufacturers who are starting at the front end of the train, you might say, they're having to adapt something already existing where you're coming at it from a different angle from a, a machinery implement ma manufacturer's point of view and working your way forward and actually creating something a bit more specific, a bit more bespoke to go with implements. Yeah. Would that be a sort of fair assessment? Yeah, it's totally that. Uh, we have here where, where it's coming from. Today, more and more, the farmer have a problematic to, to find people to, to work. Uh, to get driver. Yeah. It's really more and more problematic. And that's a problematic not only in Europe, uh, also in Hungary or in other countries. So how can you make the job? And today, uh, with some machine, when you have to drive uh, two kilometers per hour for make mechanical <laughs> reading, it's just annoying. Yeah. Uh, or a power arrow here also driving up and down. It's not a nice job. Yeah. Uh, so here, you take your, you, you put your machine, you take it in the field, push on the handy, please uh, start, and yeah. then the, the robot will do everything alone. But eight hour, eight to 12 hour capacity. So even here, two meter 50, yeah. but in eight and 10 hours, uh, he's doing a lot. Huh? That's it, leave it to it. Yeah. So do you see this machine then being very suitable to the simplistic, monotonous, jobs in the field is that yeah. where this is sort yeah. of fitting in yeah rather uh, than sort of complex seeding and planting and drilling kind uh, it of could jobs. see it could see the planting yeah. if you have capacity but that's also seeding it's easy up down up yeah. down uh, fertilizer spraying that's something else because you have to load and you have a high capacity yes today you are you're making a big on 
that's not a problem. You're self-propelled, you have big machines. Yeah. But for the soil preparation, for the seeding, for the mechanical weeding, yeah. uh, for the shredding, all this job that is quite annoying, time consuming, it's something which yeah. is really interesting. So this machine, Carl, is this completely produced by Kuhn from the ground yeah. up or, or are you working with partners no, no, to no, produce no. it? It's, uh, of course we're purchasing the, the rubber, we are purchasing yeah. the engine, yeah. we have, uh, the motor, the electric motor. But uh, the development on the soft behind that, because yeah. uh, the, the, I was gonna the say. <laughs> biggest job is the, we are here on uh, AI, uh, yeah. uh, so in artificial intelligence, that's the big job on it. Uh. Uh, on this is uh, made by Kuhn. So this is a Kuhn machine? Yeah. Right. It's today the biggest uh, R&D development at Kuhn. Really? Uh, the biggest. So how long has this been in development for you? In, in fact, we already started six years ago. We made already a field test. It was called the uh, Santéol project, where a robot was making uh, 50 hectare maize, totally autonomous. Yeah. Planting, weeding, uh, spraying, fertilizing, soil preparation. Right. And that's all, so you, we are working since a long time on it. Okay. We, but here we want it, we are quite far away. We, are, we played a big job, but we want now to have a bit the feedback yes. of, uh, okay, what you think, uh, is that okay? So uh, when, when do we think this may be roam in the fields of Europe then? That's a good question. <laughs> it's a good question. It always the, is with autonomy. <laughs> the autonomy, the problem is the, the law. The legislation. Yeah. Yes. The legislation is not clear. Where does it's, the book uh, stop? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's uh, today, this is why we are working also with Robagri. Robagri is an association to, to develop and to okay. discuss with the, the lower. Uh, and, uh, but that's going on. Uh, so I don't know. Who knows? Excellent. Well, watch this space. Look forward to seeing where this project goes and where it's heading. Right, shall we move on to the next product, yeah. which I think is a massive mower, is it? Yeah. Brilliant. Right, let's go and have a look at that one then. Okay. Right, Matthew, so we move on to a mega mower, a big mower from you guys. Yeah, it's the biggest uh, mower conditioner with uh, conveyor, bell conveyor uh, yeah. on the market. Uh, nobody made something like such huge as this one. Yeah. So it's a 13.4 meter uh, mower conditioner, mowing, conditioning, and then uh, merging everything together. Right. So uh, we, you can merge or not. So here you can see on, it's on the soil, it's green, so we can make uh, five swaths. Or if you want to merge everything, we have the belt. The belt are uh, conveying, merging all the crop into the center. And then we, are, uh, we can deposit the grass into the center. Okay, and can you do individual sides as well? Yeah, yeah. we can make individual. For example, the first, uh, the, when you drive the first time, you can enter just on one side. That's right. Uh, no problem. Keep it away from the hedge. For example, if yeah. you have trees, uh, that's yeah. quite important. And then because 13 meter uh, swaths is 